In this video, we're gonna talk about self-directed 401ks, solo 401ks, and how you can use those to invest your retirement funds. G'day, Brian. How are you today? Good. How are you, Tim? I'm well, thank you. I want to talk about self-directed 401ks. These are very specific. Tell me, what is a self-directed 401k and what is the self-directed 401k eligibility? In other words, sure. who can do this? Well, it's really, it's a self-directed solo 401k. And the eligibility for that is you have to be, a, you have to have self-employment income mm -hmm. uh, and you cannot have full-time employees, um, which is defined as a person working for you that works more than a thousand hours per year. Okay. Uh, once you have that, then you're in a position that you, know, you can put away quite a bit towards retirement. Mm -hmm. And in the case of a self-directed solo 401k, you can have a lot of flexibility in, in terms of how you invest those retirement funds. So I want to talk about this uh, to be really detailed here. A solo 401k and a self-directed 401k are two different things, kind of. How do those two things connect? Well, a solo 401k is simply the, the type of 401k that a person who's self-employed can invest in. Okay. The self-directed solo 401k is just taking that plan and putting it on a platform, so to speak, that enables you to go beyond traditional types of retirement plans. So you can do be you can invest in things beyond stocks and bonds, okay. mutual funds and the like. So normally people who've got that solo 401k, they're doing stocks and bonds. Typically. Uh, mutual funds, etc. The moment you get this self-directed mechanism, now you start being able to do solo 401k real estate investing. Exactly. Uh, or self, uh, solo 401k, what else can you invest Precious in? Precious metals, you can invest in private placements and tax liens, uh, private loans. Uh, really, the list goes on and on. I mean, the, the people would be absolutely surprised, most people are surprised, at the amount of asset classes that the IRS permits you to invest in. So, and this is really interesting to me. So if I'm putting together a solo 401k retirement plan for a sole proprietor, for example, Correct. who is eligible, I believe, right. uh, what kind of plan would you put together? What kind of options would you sure. have them consider? Well, for, first of all, I mean, the self, in the case of the sole proprietor, that person would be eligible as long as they don't have any full-time employees. That's important okay. to always point out. Uh, once we would set that person up with a plan, uh, and within the plan, there is embedded within the plan is a trust, and that person is now going to be named the trustee of that trust, mm -hmm. they're simply going to open up a checking account at a local bank, and now they're free to invest in whatever the IRS permits them to. So if they want to buy a, a rental property, uh, they can certainly do that. They want to buy precious metals, as I mentioned, or the whole vast array of private plus placements, whether it's hedge funds, private equity funds, or what have you. Um, all of those doors are now open to that investor. I've got to say, it, particularly for me as a small business owner, uh, and I have uh, been a sole proprietor in the past, these seem like, I felt like a very kind of do-it-yourself kind of person. So I could see how suddenly being able to take back control sure. of your IRA would make a lot of sense to Absolutely. people in this circumstance. Well, thank you for sharing that. I appreciate it. It's kind of a mind opener for me to, to even know it's possible, let alone thank you for laying out the specific steps. Uh, for those of you who'd like to find out more, please get in touch with us at broadfinancial.com uh, or through uh, just give us a call uh, and reach our customer care team who'd love to answer all of your questions and help you set up the appropriate self-directed solo 401k. Thank you.